Today's video might make you switch playbooks. We're going to be talking today about Corner Strike out of Gun Bunch in the West Coast playbook and why I believe it is literally potentially the best play in Madden 24. It is so effective with the concept that we're going to be giving you today, which is the running back wheel C route combo on the wide side paired with a standard flood combo on the back side. If you guys want to get my entire West Coast offensive ebook, it is available by joining our Patreon page. That's where you'll get access to all of my offensive and defensive ebooks. The link to sign up for that is going to be in the description for just 10 bucks. You'll be able to get access to everything you need to become a better Madden player. So if you want to sign up for that, I guarantee you it will completely transform your Madden game. What we're going to be doing for setup here is we're going to wheel route our running back. You don't need hot route mass or anything really to run this. You just need um, really you're running back on a wheel route. And if you look here at the screen, you're going to see that our bunch is to the short side of the field. The reason we're putting our bunch to the short side of the field is because number one, the wheel route is going to do a better job of clearing out when it runs to the wide side of the field. And then number two, the streak or the fade that we're going to put our slot receiver on here. We're going to put him on a fade. Um, we're, actually, we're going to put him on a streak. Um, he's going to do a better job of clearing out on the bunch side of the field. Okay. Now, the only real vulnerability to this play is man-to-man -man coverage. But what you're going to see here is the C route on the left side a lot of times will actually get open against man coverage. Now, you have some other routes as well. If that does not work, and we'll talk through that. Uh, first and foremost, your corner route on the right, really pretty good. Um, I need to I need to pass lead that a little bit more to the outside. It is a little tricky in practice mode. Um, sometimes these routes don't cut as sharp as they do in game, and sometimes the defenders absolutely go crazy, as you're seeing right here. If you're running up against man coverage, you can just put the tight end on a zig. And what you'll see in the gun regular gun bunch formation, it's one of the only formations in the game where you can put your tight end on these stock zig routes. So you can easily just do that. That will kind of solve that problem for you. Um, another thing, though, like I said, is normally these this uh, corner route that you see right there, the corner route is going to be able to beat man uh, to the right. And then also your C route is going to be able to beat man most of the time to the left here. Uh, if it doesn't if the C route doesn't beat man coverage and let's say they're in a cover one. If they're not, if they're in anything other than cover two man, basically, and I'll talk a little bit about cover two man in a second, but if they're in anything other than cover two man, this running back wheel, as you see right there, when he cuts up field, he's able to cook man coverage as well. So I wouldn't overthink man coverage this year. Man coverage is actually relatively uncommon to face. Um, but one other thing is, let's say they're playing two man under. If they are playing two man under, normally that means they're shading their coverage underneath. If they're shading their coverage underneath, look to the right side of the screen. You're going to see that you can actually throw the, and of course I threw it a little bit too early. You could throw it when the C route cuts to the outside, or you can throw the streak up this up the seams, uh, which we'll show that real quick. And then we'll talk about this play against the zone, which is really where this play makes its money. But I do want you to be able to feel equipped uh, to be able to beat man out of this play. So if you look here on the on the uh, the seam streak, a lot of times you can lob this up and basically have a potential one play score over the top. If that, it, it, it does depend a little bit on like how they're usering this and how their thirds are going to play and how they're shading their coverage. What a lot of people like to do is they'll shade basically underneath in man to man coverage. And then you'll either have this streak or you'll have this, um, like you'll see, see, how, see how this corner out's open to the sideline. So you'll either have that, or if they put that defender in an outside third, even from the safety position, it will leave the streak up the seam wide open. So bottom line is, if you're getting a lot of man coverage, this might not be the best play, but it is still actually, you can still beat man with it, okay? The main thing I want to show you, though, is really what we're able to do against zone. And what you're going to see against zone coverage is this running back wheel will clear out a deep quarter or a deep third on the left-hand side. So you're always going to have this C route against zone coverage. And one of the most popular adjustments, even out of man coverage, is to basically do something like what you're seeing on my screen where we put this solo wide receiver side outside cornerback. We're going to put him into an outside third. And then when he cuts to the sideline, you'll see that third's going to stay on the running back. And you can, and then you can now throw this uh, or the C route over the top. So you have that option. So whether it's cover four or cover three, it doesn't matter. This C route is going to be open consistently when you put the running back on a wheel. And also when the running back is coming from the short side of the, or basically running to the wide side, that was just a basic cover three. 
And as you see, we're able to hit this over and over and over again. Now, this is also really good because let's say they're running a cover two. If they're running a cover two and they're pressing, this is an unstoppable play because you're gonna have beaters on both sides. On the left-hand side, you'll see here, the C route is a deeper C route than the one out of like bunch offset, for example. And so it'll actually get over the top of a standard cloud flat, uh, even if that cloud flat is zone dropped, as long as it's pressed, it's gonna be wide open. Now the same thing is gonna be true over here on the right-hand side of the screen. You'll see that this corner route will get over the top of a pressed cloud flat defender as well. So the cool part about this is really any type of press man, press zone or press man, you are going to be able to throw your routes open. Here you're going to see that this cover four drop style coverage, same basic result. You see how that slot receiver, even though he's on a streak, he's going to be able to clear out the zone defenders on the right side. So it doesn't matter if it's cover four. It doesn't matter if it's cover three. It doesn't matter if it's cover two. If they are pressing you you are going to be having a wide open corner route on both sides of the field, which is really what makes this, I think, a super valuable play because you're able to throw the ball where they really can't use or defend either side of these, uh, either side of this. And worse comes to worse, if they are in a traditional double Mabel defense, then yeah, you might need to get out of this play. But another thing that's really popular out of double Mabel is number one, we can easily, if they're, if they're falling asleep, we can throw the tight end flat. But the other thing I want to show you about a double Mabel coverage specifically, one of the things that most people sleep on if they're going to run double double Mabel is, you know, it might look something like this over here. And then, you know, these guys here will be on underneath zones of some type. Typically, this guy might even be manned up to the tight end for the way most people like to run double Mabel coverage against bunch. The reason that's uh, significant is if you watch here, this slot streak, a lot of times, he can help clear out some zones. You might have the wheel. Just, just the bottom line is, you know, something to look at over the top uh, in this situation. Now, again, this is kind of the same as I was talking about in man coverage. If we're playing this and we know that might be a tendency of what they're doing, then it might make more sense. Honestly, it might make more sense to go to stick uh, because stick is going to be able to attack double Mabel. We've done several videos on that on the channel. But let's say they're in a true, like, cover two shell put that uh, slot receiver to the wide side and then you can basically throw this to with an inside pass lead and you see that it can burn the cover two over the middle of the field so the bottom line is this is going to absolutely crucify cover three cover four man coverage really anything that they do press if they're going to press this is a great play if they're not pressing that probably means they're in double mabel coverage and you might either a want to run this with the wide side setup to try to get the streak over the top for a big play or B, you might just want to check into another play. But this is an absolute laser against cover four, cover drop, cover four drop, um, cover three with the matching third on the outside that a lot of people like to do. They're just not going to be able to do that against this route combo. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to get my entire West Coast offensive ebook, head down to the description and go join the Patreon by clicking the link down below.